As I've worked as a doctor in several hospitals, including some of the best hospitals in the country, I've noticed that there is a rising tide of doctors, especially younger doctors, they're now saying, we need to be more honest with patients. We need to be transparent as a hospital with how we perform. We need our outcomes to be available to the public so consumers can choose where to go as they would in any free market. We have competition in healthcare now, but it's competition at the wrong level. It's competition at the level of advertisements and how good the parking is at a hospital. The best way to make healthcare accountable is to make it not accountable to regulators or insurance companies, but accountable to the patients that hospitals are intended to serve. Recently, there's been sort of a corporatization effect where hospitals are becoming larger and larger entities. Last year, there was a record number of mergers and acquisitions of hospitals. Hospitals are becoming giant. Some say even too big to fail in some small communities. Now, one lesson we learned from the banking industry is that when you have a giant corporation that's too large to govern, their accountability can go down and the care can be more depersonalized as the corporation can lose its mission. Doctors and nurses across America are increasingly frustrated with a growing divide between the frontline providers and the management of healthcare. And what we're seeing is doctors rising up to say, we wanna control the system in a way that's more patient-centered, that's more honest, that's more transparent, in a way that keeps the patients first. Many of my friends have received emails that they've showed me. These are friends at top medical centers, academic medical centers around the country. The email is from their boss and it says, please try to do more operations in order to, re to receive your end of year bonus. Now, it shocks people when they hear that this goes on in medicine, but the corporatization of healthcare has now gone to the extreme to the point where hospitals are beating down on their providers to do more health care. Not necessarily the best health care, but more health care. I wrote this book with the everyday American reader in mind. It's not a book for doctors or nurses, although it applies to all of us. It's a book that really speaks to the stories of what goes on in healthcare. It's based on my observations as a doctor, as a student, as a trainee, working at some of the best hospitals in the country. I had a patient come to my office and I was taking notes as she was talking. And she asked me at one point, could my Ben and Jerry's ice cream have caused this pain? And I said, no, it has nothing to do with this. And after that, she was a little more distant during the interview, and I realized that there was something bothering her. And at the end of the conversation, I asked her, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? And she asked me, what did you write in the chart? Did you put in there that I'm crazy? And, and I showed her the note, and I said, no, this is what I put down here. And instantly, we had a sort of bond of trust. There was this feeling that everything I was doing was transparent. And that's sort of a microcosm of exactly what this movement is all about, a movement of restoring the trust that doctors and hospitals have with their patients by being more honest and transparent about what we're doing. Medicine shouldn't be a closed culture. It shouldn't be a secret business. How we do as hospitals and doctors should be available to the public. 